All right, Mark, thank you very much. A woman accused in a string of daytime home burglaries in Derby and Shelton went to court today. Yeah, uh, the suspect also accused of stealing a 91-year-old woman's purse. News 8's Jamie Murrell spoke to the victim. He's on the scene in Shelton tonight with more. The hunt for the people responsible for a string of daytime burglaries here in the Valley involved two police departments, Derby PD and here at Shelton. And a key description of the suspects came from a 91-year-old woman who was assaulted. She loves to walk, but last month's stroll down Derby's Chatfield Street would change 91-year-old Frances Falcione's love for a daily stroll. It was here she was attacked. When she knocked me down, I fell on the ground. I bruised up and everything. She you were bleeding. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then my pocketbook, I had money there to pay the bills. The she in this story would be 23-year-old Amber Ballant, who appeared before a judge today for the assault on Francis, as well as a series of daytime residential burglaries in the Huntington section of Shelton. For example, police say she stole more than $6,000 worth of jewelry from this home in April. She came from nowhere. But it's the assault on Francis that raises eyebrows. Oh, I didn't walk no more. No, no, I was afraid. I used to walk every day. I used to walk every single day. Frances gave police a description of her attacker. Thin, young, blonde, female. She jumped into a silver car with a black hood, a car that was spotted by police a few days later. Dots were connected and police arrested Ballard, who later confessed to many crimes, including the burglaries. Frances was relieved to hear about the arrest and arraignment from us. Oh, God, thank you. That's the way I feel. I really feel that way because I was afraid to walk. I was really afraid. If you saw that day, I can fix you everything, everything, how she knocked me on the ground. Prayers answered. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You guys are nice, I'm telling you. But what I went through, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Amber is back in court on July 7th. Her bond staying at $200,000. On the scene in Shelton, I'm Jamie Miro, News 8.